Hey everybody, it is Paint Can. Welcome back to the Paint Can channel. We are going to talk quickly today about an iron butt challenge and some uh, do's and don'ts that go along with that iron butt. Stick around. So today I just want to really look into, <laughs> look into I guess why milk trucks need to drive right across the road in front of us. I guess maybe that will be the topic today. <laughs> or why a yogurt truck has to back across the road in front of us today. <laughs> Oh man, I'd sometimes I wonder why I go this way when I live near Shobani, but yeah, anyway, I guess we just keep on a happy face and and all is good. But anyway, back to the original topic. Just going for a quick ride today, gotta run some errands and uh wanted to talk to you about an iron butt ride. I did the Saddle Sore 1000 last August. It is now the uh, beginning of July. So it's almost a year ago, about 11 months ago. And it's difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. A lot of people uh, try it. A lot of people fail. But that's just the way it is with challenge type things. But some people fail and this is what I really want to talk about today is why I think a lot of people fail that actually complete it because you can complete your thousand miles in less than 24 hours and still fail the iron butt challenge and here's why when I did it and I did a video with uh, little clips in it of when I was riding and then some kind of afterthoughts things like that as I went but one of the reasons that people fail and I saw a YouTube video for a very popular youtuber down in Texas and I thought the way he's doing it he's not going to get his certification so for those of you who don't know the Iron Bud Association is out of Florida they are an association that is comprised of volunteers. They go over your paperwork, we'll say with a fine tooth comb, and they really, truly do go over your paperwork very stringently. You have to give them a map of where you've gone. You've got to, there's a, there's a ton of things. Pictures of your odometer and your gas receipt from starting every place you stop along the way. For gas or a break you have to log it and you have to take the pictures there's a lot of documentation that goes into it but one of the things that people generally overlook is the simple documentation of the 1,000 miles and in that 1,000 miles your odometer might be a little bit off or there may be a place where when the Iron Butt Association looks it over, they see that there's a shorter route between, say, gas stop number two and gas stop number three. That shorter route is what they are going to credit you with. Because there are plenty of people out there that want to do it completely correct. And there are a lot of people that want to cheat their way through it. There's also a lot of people that want to speed their way through it and want to go 10 to 15 miles an hour over the speed limit the whole time. And if they feel that that is the way you did the ride, then you also not, you will not be accredited with the ride. They're very, very stringent. Take my case an example. I did get about, I don't know, two weeks ago, I got in the mail the license plate backer, the, the pin, the patch, the paperwork, all that, that comes with the package that I chose when I sent my paperwork in. But it literally took about nine months to get the whole process done, which I wasn't in any big hurry, no big deal. But it still took that amount of time because there's a lot of people that do it and there's a lot of people that don't get credit for what they did because they were deemed as cheating. Again, I did get certified. I did get the credit for it. However, on my certification I got from them, the mileage they gave me 
was not the mileage that I turned in. Somewhere in their mapping system, they apparently found where there could have been a short route taken and gave me credit for that. So that's one of the main things I want to talk about today is make sure that you do not do 1,000 miles. Make sure you do well in excess of that 1,000 miles because I don't remember the exact of what I turned in, but it was in the neighborhood of 1075 and they gave me credit for around 1035. So somewhere in there, they found approximately 40 miles that may have been cut off if I had cheated, which I give them a ton of credit for of going the extra mile to make sure that these rides that you're doing are actually what you say you're doing. It's uh, an elite sort of a thing and they don't want to give it out to just anybody. So I found from experience of I owned every bike I've had have been Japanese bikes, whether it be a Honda, Suzuki, I've got a Kawasaki currently on my third Yamaha. But as you check them versus GPS or something on that idea, you'll find that most Japanese motorcycles are off by approximately five to 10% of what the actual distance or speed is. So if you are, say, 5% off on 1,000 miles, that's gonna give you 50 miles differential. And that might be enough to be a problem. That one YouTuber that I was watching his video on, he was going to try to knock out exactly 1,000 miles, maybe five over or something like that. And I don't believe that they would have given him the certification because Again, if he's 10% off, then he's not going to get it. And they're the type of group that will catch those types of things. So make sure that you are within the proper mileage you do. We're going to make a quick stop right here, and I will get back to you momentarily. So as I discussed in one of the previous videos with the Iron Butt Challenge, some of the things that we've got to be... Uh, you know, careful of or cognizant of or whatever if we do one and actually I'm thinking about doing another one I don't know if I will bother with all the receipts and all that or just do the mileage and have a good time with it I'm not sure still remains to be seen I got a couple people that have talked to me and maybe want to do another ride with me like that so we'll see what happens there and if so we'll take a little bit better care of getting video clips for you along the way but also I'm thinking about maybe doing a bun burner 1500 there again not sure if I'll do all the documentation or just know that I did it not really sure but the documentation is huge really got to cross your t's dot your eyes everything is there on the website as to what to do so it's not hard to find out how to do it you just got to make sure that you read the entire website all the directions do exactly what they ask you to do and i'm sure you'll be able to do it paperwork wise question is will you be able to do it physically and will your bike be able to do it because most motorcycles let's be honest they can ride a thousand miles as long as you have halfway proper maintenance on your bike it will make a thousand mile ride that's not an issue but then comes in the if you do proper maintenance so check everything over check your tires check your filters how's your oil change a lot of things like that Go around, check all your nuts and bolts. And when you're done with that, just look over anything that could be a possible failure. Give yourself the best route that you can give for the best outcome. Don't go through a lot of cities. You got a better chance of getting traffic jams. Also, back country roads, back county roads, whatever, might be a lot more difficult to knock out the miles quickly. 
so bigger whether they be interstates or even a road like this isn't a bad route by any means however the catch you're gonna have is these little side roads that kick off of it are they a shortcut to your next point and will you lose mileage because of that whereas if you get on the interstate it's exits and most interstates are pretty straight I'll give you an example this road that I am specifically on right now is State Highway 80 in Central New York now if I was to take 80 from say Sherburn just to use a local example from Sherburn over the hill 80 takes a right but County Route 25 goes straight if I was to use 80 as my route I would lose a minimum of 10 miles getting between Columbus and Edmiston might even be closer to 15 because it goes down through New Berlin up through Pittsfield around to Edmiston but if you go straight on 25 that turns into 20 when you cross county lines it is considerably shorter to go that way and I can guarantee you the Iron Bud Association auditors will find that so you may lose a lot of miles because of that so my I don't know suggestion advice whatever you would want to call it would be simply stay on the interstates if you're looking for certification enjoy those interstates and just get out and crush the miles get that I don't know 1075 to 1100 if you're looking for the the saddle sore 1000 go I would say in the neighborhood of close to 10% over would be your safest bet but are you I guess would be the next question statement whatever are you ready for a thousand miles in the saddle because there are a tremendous percentage of the people that try to do an iron butt ride never make it simply because it's just it's hard <laughs> it truly is hard it's not an easy thing to knock out a thousand miles in 24 hours if you're one of those that rides 15 miles to the local ice cream shop on Tuesday night or something to a bike night or if whatever it is like that you ride to work 15 or 20 miles that's great nothing against that but you're probably not ready to knock out a thousand miles straight it's a lot more of an undertaking than people want to think it is mentally it's fatiguing physically it's fatiguing I did it on this bike here which is a 2018 Yamaha Eluder I've got satellite radio I've got heated seat if I need it I got all the creature comforts that a person could want in a motorcycle and I gotta be honest with you when I got to about the 900 mile mark <laughs> I was very ready to get off the motorcycle and I had done probably I'd say maybe three or four rides prior to it they were in the 450 to 500 mile range so that I could somewhat prepare and I knew it wasn't too bad to go out that many miles well mathematically 500 to a thousand might be double but I can honestly tell you 500 to a thousand physically and mentally it is about four times as far yeah I know that's fuzzy math but I can tell you it's it's a big big difference that you might not be ready for so don't be afraid to go out and try it but at the same time don't be afraid if you're in the middle of it to say man I don't know if I can do this and just enjoy the ride don't bother pushing yourself go the miles if you want but to do it in under 24 can be incredibly difficult if you're not prepared. So I guess that's about all I got to say, honestly, as far as the, the Iron Butt Association and 
and doing the, the ride the proper way, that type of thing. The reason, other than I just like to get out to ride, the reason I wanted to do this video today is for those of you who have followed my channel or subscribers, you'll know that I usually have the camera, and as you can see it here, a camera out on the mirror. I've got mounts on both sides. I've got one here, points back at me. I've got one on a luggage rack on the back. Obviously, I don't have a camera on each one of them. I've only got two GoPros, but I've got different locations I can mount them for different views. But this is kind of a test run on having it on my helmet. The style of helmet that I have, and I'll show you a picture right here. The style of helmet that I have is not conducive to having a helmet cam right on the front of it so I've got it mounted off to the side not really sure how it's all gonna turn out when I do the video so if it comes out crappy you'll see it just like me because I take the footage and not much of it honestly hits the cutting room floor as you call it but one of the reasons I wanted it on the helmet is I have a tendency to look around a lot like at that campground here Crystal Lake campground I have a tendency to look around a lot but if you're mounted on the mirror all you see is the road ahead and that can be kind of a bummer to watch there's not a lot to see so I wanted to try it out see what it came out footage wise having it on the side of the helmet I know there are some youtubers that do that and uh, I personally think it comes out pretty good a lot of people say make the videos that you want to watch so I guess I'm making the videos that I want to watch coming out and just doing some riding I've got today off from work so I'm just enjoying some back county roads and kind of show you guys around my area a little bit and see some of the places that that I tend to ride I think that honestly just being stuck up there on the, the mirror all the time isn't the greatest view that you can have so that's why I wanted to I don't know if it kind of intrigues me enough to turn my head and look at it maybe you would want to look at it as well especially some of the sights I mean you know coming down in this little valley here some of the, the scenery from a distance where is a, a static camera angle from the mirror may not be as great might be better to uh, be able to look around with me see why I moved to the other side of the road like that <laughs> raccoon roadkill there but uh, I just wanted to thank you all for sticking through my rambling here a lot of this is audio and video check but a lot of it also is try to give you some advice on an iron butt ride being that I have done one thinking about doing another what goes into it and uh, again checking out some of the audio because I don't know how loud my pipes will be in the video I don't know wind noise I've got a microphone inside but checking out my setup so I would ask that number one you would like this video number two you would subscribe three hit the bell notification and comment below what do you think is this a better camera setup than what I usually use is it not what are your thoughts on it um, maybe you got some advice for me maybe you're a youtuber that's watching my video and you got some better ideas on what works for you that you think I should try anything like that I'm definitely open to any ideas or suggestions so put them in the comments below and until we get together again you have an amazing day and hopefully you get a chance to get out and ride as well see ya